Hi darlings, welcome to my channel. This is a dust free zone. I'm gonna wait for a few of you ladies to pop in and we're gonna talk about how to stay dust free this season. How to stay dust free, how to repel dusties. How to keep them from approaching you. Well, first of all, you're gonna need some nice sunglasses to block them. You need a barrier between you and the dust from getting into your eyes. So number one, a pair of shades. They can be dark, preferably. They cannot make eye contact through dark lenses. Okay, dark lenses you need. My other ones that I prefer are in my car right now, so I'm using these. Y'all don't see my nice glasses, I'll be using them. That's my that's my blockers, dust blockers. Okay, a snooty top with a high collar suggests that you're better than them. So, um it also helps you sit up straight, which gives you posture, which gives you manners, which gives you culture, which gives you um, pedigree, which makes them think that they cannot afford you. So when you when you have a top on like this with some extra stuff on it, it makes like you all fancy. It's like I'm too good for you. Next, you need a beret because this is just snooty. Okay. It screams, does not go with basketball shorts. It screams, you cannot take me to Applebee's. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle, strawberry lowly. Forget sunglasses, they need a lab goggles, <laughs> right? You cannot take me to Applebee's looking like this casually. This is my casual. This is not what I'm even wearing on a date. This is how I go to CVS, okay? So this is how you run errands. This is how you keep dusties away. You wear stuff that allows them to think twice before approaching you because they cannot afford. Okay, they don't know this is from AliExpress or Amazon or whatever. They don't know these glasses are probably from the Dollar Tree. They don't know this hat came from Walmart.com or whatever. They don't know, but it looked like it came from some. It looks like they cannot afford it. Okay. <laughs> um, if you're going to be on your phone in public, be talking about spending money and shopping. Don't talk about, so where you going tonight? You know, da, da, da. Speak only in terms that they will run away from. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, I'm headed over there right now. They, they have all these cutest shoes. I'm going to go buy them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always talk about money, spending money, okay? Um, if they ask you your phone number or if they do try to approach you, look at them strange. As if you're startled, like, hold on, you know, um, hold on, I'll call, someone's asking me something. Um, excuse me? Like, act like they're not on your level. Excuse me? Okay, well, I don't know. I don't understand what they're talking about. Um, some boy, it's called a boy. Some boy is asking me about something. I don't, I'm not really understanding what he's saying. Hold on one second. Can I help you? Um, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I think they wanted some money or something. Well, I don't have any cash, baby. <laughs> That's how you keep them dusty the way. Be so, so, okay, so. Yeah, I, the Versace ones, yes. Okay. Have them pull a size. Yeah, have them pull my size. You know what size I wear because you have a half of my shoes. Yes, have them pull my size and tell them I'll be there in a few minutes. That's how you got to be. Like, don't just don't be like open around people. It's like, yes. Okay. I'm going to see. Okay. 
What do you want? I'm going to Starbucks. You want something? <laughs> Be all bougie on and up on and they will not even approach you. Like if you have to just be in a dusty area, hopefully you don't. But if you're out and about in, in, a, in a highly public place where everybody is, go look. you don't have to wear these glasses if it's indoors. But um, if you're outside, definitely keep the glasses. <laughs> but be like, oh. Be, be so involved in your phone. Be shopping online. So if they say, if they have a glance at your phone, you're on an expensive website. Okay. Uh, shopping. That way they already know Applebee's is out of the question. Netflix is, Netflix and chill is out of the question. And they just going to admire from afar. Um. <laughs> They won't even approach you. Average men do not want to be bothered with women that are too uh, much for them. So they're not even going to approach you. Um, dress. I, I always say dress nicer than what the occasion calls for. That Because extra people do that. Extra people who are high maintenance always dress a tad bit extra than what the occasion Y'all, yeah, I'm sorry. Then what the occasion calls for, you know. <laughs> so if you're going to go, like if you're running errands and you put on a pair of heels or a, like a cute dress um, versus, you know, a track suit, you know, high maintenance, straight up. Yeah, this is a wig, y'all. I'm going to be doing my review soon on this. I'm, I'm testing it out. But, um. Yes, this hair is very short. Yes, my um, my wig company, <clears throat> they send me wigs and they wanted me to do a short wig this time. I, I always told them I do long wigs, I do long wigs. They were sending me stuff shorter than this. And I was like, the, the, long, the shortest I'm gonna go with a bob, baby. <clears throat> so I have to review this on my beauty channel. So, um, yes. <laughs> um, it's not my wig company. It's a wig company that I work with, and they send me they send me wigs. I review them. I tell people what I think. I link them to the websites. You know, um, yes. But it's not my it's not mine. It's uh, whywigs.com. Okay. There's links in the description box, not to this wig, but to the website. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Amber Rose. <laughs> thank you, Chanel Monet. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, thanks. Speaking of Chanel, smell like you have money. Don't wear, don't leave the house wearing body spray. That is ratchet. Have you a signature fragrance? I already have some on, so I'm not gonna spray it. Have you an expensive perfume? Do not walk out the house smelling like bath and body works. Or Victoria, so you can put. That's for at home after your shower, not for the public, darling. Thank you, Nakia, baby. Um, hey, Shira, I have a corporate job and I travel a lot for leisure. What do you think about telling men I'm a flight attendant on a fake job? Uh, flight attendants have a little stigma to them, they think you get around. Um, so I would stick to, um, Mm hmm something else. Midwest mama, sprinkle, sprinkle, lovely as usual, sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, I don't know what, like, what job travels a lot that doesn't make a lot of money. Figure that out. That doesn't have a stigma with it. Thank you, Rosalina, Rosalina. sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh-huh, personal assistant. Mm-hmm. Site for cute flats and bougie heels. It's Pommy. It's Pommy. Is that the site? Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah. Traveling. No, I wouldn't tell anybody else to traveling nothing. I, I'm busy. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Wow, you're so good. I got a question. I'm 18. How can I look classy when I ain't got nothing? Go to the thrift store, baby. Make do it what I go. Shop on wish.com. Shop. Look, you can go subscribe to my beauty channel, Ashira Star. And I, I be doing hauls and how I get stuff cheap. Okay. You can shop on wish.com and literally get a, sh a beautiful shirt for $5. It might take a month to get to you, but you're going to have it. Thank you, Renee. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> that black shirt I had on yesterday, if y'all saw my other video, that was from wish.com. <laughs> Boohoo, $8 dresses. Yes, shop online, baby. Shop online. Yes. Or thrift stores. Okay. You're 18. How can you level up? A little bit at a time. Uh, you can level up through your manners and where you hang out, how you speak, how you carry yourself, how you leave your house looking, you know, leveling up as far as how you treat yourself is going to go a long way. You know, uh, people can tell that you don't settle for less just by the way you treat yourself and how you act and how you leave your house. So just practice leaving your house looking put together um, and confident. Yes. Cheap looking clothes will never attract quality men. That's why you have to be better looking than the clothes, darling. Don't let the clothes wear you. You wear the clothes, right? I look like I feel like pink prints. <laughs> I feel like prints, but it's not purple. Um, but everybody has different tastes. Make sure you are wearing the clothes and the clothes ain't wearing you. <laughs> okay. Hi, Shira. How can I get a consultation with you? Uh, hi. Thank you, Celie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, write me through my Etsy store, Dark Realm. Let's type in Dark Realm on Etsy. Yes. And you can contact me there. Your dad leveled you up. You was a Dusty. My mom gave me a Mercedes. When my Dusty became a monster, I left now working on my re-level up. <laughs> well, good for you. Mm -hmm. Um, What is your lip called again? I know it's from your line. Actually, this, um, this lipstick is not from my line. This is CoverGirl. Um, Y'all, everything I got on is on my... A sheer star channel video, the last one I uploaded, the haul, the clothes and beauty haul. Go and subscribe. Oh, she wrote, uh oh, did I spell it right? Okay. Star. That is my beauty channel. Go subscribe. We have all this information. Thank you, Rosalina. Sprinkle, sprinkle girl. This is little cover girl in the color. Um, this is color. I think this is in the color Ascension or the color, no, this is in the color Overthrown. This is a new collection, the Exhibitionist Collection. And this is in the color Overthrown. Okay, it, it, it reminds me of Nick's Butter Gloss. Smells the same. I think it's the same formula. Um, thank you. My towel, my, I put my towel up there. So when I do my makeup, I put it on my lap so I don't get makeup on my, on my pants or my skirt, or whatever I have on. Okay, so how to get rid of dusty. Be always reading something or writing something or ex executing something. Be busy, you know. Either you're reading something, you're writing something, you're on the phone. Be too busy to be approached, okay? This is to, ex you know, to not have to deal with dusties. Now, if you're freestyling, you should be in a nice area and you're not going to be doing that. You're going to be inviting. 
But if you're in an area where you don't want people approaching you, or you don't want dust around you, put your headphones on, put your sunglasses on, look extra, not don't understand what they're saying to you, like ask them three times to repeat themselves. They get frustrated easily when you do that. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> Um, and they'll just leave after a while. Um, never let him live with you. <laughs> nope. If he ain't moving you into some place very nice, you're not moving him in. Ill. Don't ever move him in. Okay. Sure. Did you get your lips touched up? You know what? Um, I might have. <laughs> you never know. Or it could just be some plumping gloss. But um, yes, I did. I got I got I got a little bit the little retouch, you know, the maintenance. You you pretend you don't speak English? Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Um I pretend like I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> How to manipulate and use your ex for money. Girl, I don't go backwards. Thank you, little bliss. It's me, Sprinkle Sprinkle. How to get rid of his dusty ex-girl. I don't know if I want to keep his bag. She would grow up. Sprinkle Sprinkle. She don't exist in your world. You too, you're above her. You shouldn't even be brought, worried about her. You know what I'm saying? That's peasants to you. Thank you, Guinevere, your offerings. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Everybody's a peasant. I mean, you're trying to overcome, level up, and not have to deal with dusties anymore. Everyone is a peasant to you. That's how you need to walk around acting. You're, whoever you with, his ex is a, is a peasant. She's not on your level, so you don't worry about her. Okay? Why are you worried about somebody that's not in the picture anymore? Okay? Is, is he giving you money? Great. <laughs> you've taken her, you've already taken her place, and you worried about her. You wasted energy. Um, if he wanted to be with her, he would be with her. That's why I don't bother worrying about other people's exes. If they wanted to be with him, they would be with them. Mm -hmm. Are you getting money? Great. You're doing the job right. So, ex Dusty's. Dusty's trying to come back around for, you know, to see if they can get you back during the holiday season. Um, block number, don't answer the phone, call them another name, something, okay? Um, <laughs> if, you, if you want to discipline yourself to stay away from Dusty's, you're going to have to self, you're going to have to self-sabotage that situation by calling your Dusty the wrong name on purpose to stop yourself from going backwards. Thank you, LaBliss. He put her on his Snapchat with that girl. If he got Snapchat, he too young. Anyway, for me anyways. Sprinkle, sprinkle though. Like I'm not worried about who on Snapchat, who on Instagram, I don't care. Where is my money? Okay, what's in your account? What's in your wallet? Who cares? Who cares? You're not supposed to care. What's in your wallet? You know, if y'all if y'all don't stop caring, I'm gonna stop talking. If y'all don't stop with that mess, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this channel. I'm gonna hang it up. Stop caring. Who cares? You got some money. That's all that matters, okay? Um, I'm serious, though. Y'all care too much. But he's putting another girl up. And so, what's your wallet look like? You got money? I'd rather him put somebody up, up on Snapchat and put money in my wallet. Okay? <laughs> you felt that? <laughs> hey, Kayla Correct. So, along with your bougie accessories and your bougie perfume and you, you asking them to repeat themselves three times. And then you need to look at them up and down as if you're trying to figure out why they are speaking to you. 
Now, this may seem rude, this may seem snobbish, but it also is going to help you do two things. Stay out of those environments and it's going to allow yourself to not go backwards. Okay. Um, like today I had to go to the beauty supply shop on the other side of town and where they have printed out pictures of people stealing, <laughs> like when you walk in, you know, the beauty supply shop. Um, so when I go out to, to uh, places uh, on the other side of town, I try to look bougie. <laughs> um, I get treated really good. I get catered to. People be suggesting stuff to me. Well, why don't you try this? Like, you know, you look like you got money, and um, it's just a whole nother level. And even if you got the cheapest outfit on, if you look pulled together and bougie, still they they think you're trying. They're gonna treat you a lot different. So you gotta you gotta make sure you're presentable, and you know, Dusty's won't even try to approach you. You won't look dusty yourself. You know, you're not going to get labeled and things like that. So you're looking cute face off. It sure does. What two words since my sugar daddy likes hiking something? Girl, I'm not hiking with no look. You can go for a hike. I'll see you when you get back. Okay. I'll see you when you get back. I don't hike. I'm too girly. Can you hike in heels? Can you hike in cute sandals? I'm not finna do all of that hiking. I don't hike for myself. I'm gonna hike for a dusty. I mean, a sugar daddy. He'll, his money gonna be right there when he get back from his hike. He he, he can he can FaceTime me. <laughs> okay. While he on his hike. Ooh, that's a nice tree behind you. I'm gonna be sitting up, you know, in the lobby somewhere, wherever we at. That's a nice tree. Say hi to that squirrel. Bring me back a pine cone. You know, I'm not doing all of that. If, if you put your foot down and say, oh my gosh, I, I can't. He won't ask you to do that anymore. Okay. <laughs> I like bicycle and I don't even hike. Um. I see you when you get back. Exactly. Let somebody ask me to go hiking. Unless we trying to bury a dead body, I ain't finna go hike nothing. Shoot. <laughs> like, unless we gotta hide the body, I ain't doing nothing. Um, <laughs> that's the only time I'm gonna be out in the woods. Hiking or burying something. To hike up to bury something where it cannot be found. Um, hello from Australia. Hey, Lola Maria. Um, do you have a favorite fall or winter fragrance? Yes, Coco Chanel. This my this is my fall perfume this year. I also like. Versace Noir, Crystal Versace Noir. But I like this one too. This smells expensive. It's very fall. It's a classic. This is this the perfume I this the perfume that got me my first sugar daddy. Shh, don't do the light. <laughs> I was wearing that perfume when I got my first sugar daddy. Um mm -hmm. All of them are good, though. All the ones I always talk about. She wrote, how can I know if Potential has money? My dad's friend is retired accountant. Why? Y'all, I'm not going after nobody's daddy's friends. It's, it's bad enough you got to go for somebody old, but don't go after your daddy friends. <laughs> go outside of the zip code, baby. Okay, Shira, oh my six, what? 
Thank you. I'm on a TV. <laughs> mm. Anyway, so expensive perfume keeps dusties away. Makeup keeps dusties away. Thank you, Simone. Thank you for such a great for such great advice. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Thank you. That was a nice donation, girl. Lip gloss is by CoverGirl. This is a new line. And I think this is called Ascension. It, it's just like NYX, but a gloss. It's the same formula, but it's cheaper. And look at the packaging. It's way better. So this one is in Ascension, and this one is in... Um, overthrown yeah overthrown and I have another one somewhere I can't find it but it was up here earlier oh here it is and then I bought the other one in overthrown and oh oh I can't remember the name of this one revolution revolution overthrown and ascension it is from the Exhibitionist Limited Edition Collection. Thank you, Mr. Joshi. My wife has left me and took the kids. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Da, 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 da. What you did wrong then? What have you done? When women don't leave for no reason now. Did you give was you giving her money? Was you cheating? Which one you stop doing? Stop giving her that money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry she left you, but hey, people leave when they're not appreciated. Okay. Mm hmm But she must have leveled up. Oh my gosh. Well, better start trying to figure out how you're gonna. Uh, pay to get her back. Um, <laughs> she on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. Gotta put on my, my hat for this one. Somebody bring me back some money, please. She's on to the next one. Um, this is how I'm going out tomorrow. Maybe with a different shirt though. I'm gonna use my black or cream. I'm just, I was just trying this on to make sure it fit because y'all know it's one of them online, you know, Chinese shops and some of the stuff don't be working right, but it fit. <laughs> so makeup keeps dusty the way um, not another thing that keeps dusty the way is a, uh, more of a classy look versus a trendy look or more of a snobby look versus a Sexy look like when you go into freestyle and you're in an environment with no dusties, you don't have to do this. This is when you don't want to be bothered. Okay, so you got to look extra so they don't bother you. This is just a shirt, y'all. It's like I haven't even done nothing with it. It's just I have on pants. I was just trying it on because I just got the shipment in. I feel like prints, pink prints. I probably would wear this with some like um, with a with a skirt or with some jeans tucked in with some heels and maybe my pink beret instead. Or I have these pink pants, these light pink pants that would actually go good with this. So uh, I'm gonna do a lookbook though. Thank you, Winzetta. No, Winesta. Sugar Daddy takes care of everything but his own Coke. I don't like. Thank you. I got this in all uh, nude as well. This popping nude. Um, girl, is he paying your bills? 
Is he making you carry carry the, the narcotic with you and, and risking your uh, freedom? If the answer is no, it's his problem, baby. Girl, I don't care. Is, is, is the money good? Is he is he risking your freedom? <laughs> Take his money, right? Y'all eat your hate. I don't know. Look, I'm I'm too innocent and stupid to know people doing drugs. I don't know what that is. As long as he can afford you, it don't matter, you know. And see, this is what women try to do. They try to get with a man who's already got money. Then they're going to try to, oh, I don't like the fact that he does this. Oh, I want to change him now. Now I want him to do this. Now I want him to do that. Now I want to be his boss. Well, good luck. For me, I don't even care. I can't even just get on that life insurance policy. If, if he if he found dead of a heart attack, it's, it's all yours. <laughs> you ain't got to do it. Um. Do I think ultimatums work on men? If they can't replace you, yes. <laughs> okay. Now, if it was crack, yeah, we have to have a talk. If it's crack or heroin, yeah, we're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> If, if it's crack, I'm out. <laughs> crack is for dusties. Exactly. See? You get it. Um, like, I don't do anything. I don't even drink anymore, so I'll be taking advantage of people high. <laughs> Um, just think about it. He high, you're sober. Who's in control? You, because you're sober. <laughs> think about it. It might work out to your advantage. Um, you're most of the strippers be on drugs. You know, I remember in my innocent, um, in my innocent days when I first started like going out by myself, and I was like, all these people are on drugs, literally everybody on drugs. Thank you, when Wendyista. He wants me to be with him and have kids now. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Well. Do your research. Mm -hmm. Does he got money? Does he want you to have kids or he wants you to get married? Because I, I didn't hear nothing about no marriage. I ain't having nobody kids until they having my wedding, baby. Especially if they got money. Sure, I want to blackmail my married ex so I can cut off six months. So I cut off six months ago. I still have text pics. Da, da, da. That's against the law. But sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't get caught. You're gonna have to do it anonymously. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. You're gonna have to do it through a third party. Okay. Because it's called extortion. So you're gonna have to go through a third party to do so. A third anonymous party. Mm hmm. Um. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy's the Sprinkle Sprinkle. How to turn a low offer into a higher one? Don't accept it. Risk it all. To, you know, risk it all to get it all. Mm-hmm. 
Like if, if someone offers you something and you don't want it, say, no, thank you. I don't want it. No, thank you. You don't. You know, if you are trying to bid up and then they're going to be like, fine. Sick. Or you could say, you know, that's nice. That's nice, but I need this much. That's not going to do anything for me. <laughs> right? He dated a drug dealer who started powder, but he was more like super fly. <laughs> Oh my God! See, I don't. I don't mm -mm. That's why I, I stick with the old dudes. That, you know, they are, they got medication, but it's prescription. You know, they can't even do drugs because you know they got their organs is failing us. But that's what you need. That's what that's what you need. You need somebody not on drugs, but on prescription medication. Okay, that's what you need. You don't need somebody going out to buy drugs. You need somebody that have a pharmacy. They have to pick up their medication every week because <laughs> that's what you need. That's what you need. You can get all that insurance, get you some money. Get you on that social security. Oh, girl. <laughs> anyway. Y'all know, I, I just mess with y'all. But think about the difference between older and younger. <laughs> How to stop caring and keep out of your emotions. Keep your money on, I mean, keep your mind on your money and your money on your mind like Snoop Dogg said. Thank you, Winesta. He wants to marry me, but I'm thinking about kids having a father who does coke and finding family finding out girl. You can always divorce him and take half his money. Duh. And get child support. And you can use that as a good reason. He's on drug addict. And he will never get custody. So you good to go, baby. Set your plan up. <laughs> get in about a couple, two, three years. Get get all the evidence you need for the courts. If he signed that prenup on drugs, it's null and void, baby. So 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 is it if you sign it while on prescription medication um, that was prescribed to you by a doctor preceding a procedure of some sort or in uh, some type of antibiotic that made you drowsy or something with champagne okay so set yourself up the correct way then take it off oh. you still learning bear with you I'm, I'm i'm trying thank you jasmine best places to freestyle for sugar daddies in out of usa in the rich side of town <laughs> Right. Had two babies, my sugar daddy, he dogged me. Now I make close to 40000 of his retirement pay and child support. Cool. Um, y'all have to stay out these emotions. Y'all have to have a master plan, like an evil villain. You have to pretend like you're an evil villain before you go into any situation. You know, what is your plan? What is your evil plan? What is your master plan? If you don't get sidetracked, the villain never gets sidetracked. They always execute. Okay. Speaking of villain, here come Darth Vader. <laughs> Have a master plan. Do not stray. Once you get your bag, then you win. You know, uh, too many people get caught up in trying to reason with things when they don't have to. They just need to accomplish the goal and then do what they were going to do anyway. Mm -hmm. Hurt his pockets. <laughs> right. How to know they have a lot of money when they spend it on you, baby. That's how you know when they spend it on you. 
<laughs> when they when they spend it and they're rescuing you from situations that you may have come up with when they're buying you things, taking you out to nice places, you know, taking care of them bills for you, that's how you're going to know they have something to offer. You look them up on the internet. You do that background search. Um, how should my photo look on a dating website? Blank, because you shouldn't be on one. Unless you want people to come at you like a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Hearing I'm good girl makes me cringe now. Yep. Blank. Would now, I don't I don't man bash over here. I just try to get their money. Just let the smartest one win. That's what I say. Okay. Like for me, y'all on here trying to figure out how to get close to a man, but y'all don't like men. That ain't gonna work out for you. You're gonna they're gonna sense that in you. That you mad and you don't like men. They're going to sense that. Ain't, that's why some of y'all can't get no money. Because y'all don't even like men. Okay. <sighs> I see a lot of people messaging saying that men are this and that. Thank you. This is a wig, darling. Sprinkle, sprinkle, harp, derp, harp, derp. Thank you for all that you do, Sheila. Thank you, TM girl. 54, sprinkle, sprinkle. So, yeah, if you walk around with a chip on your shoulder and you hate men, they're going to sense that when they come in contact with you. So you got to stop doing it. Thank you, Petra. Thank you for all your advice from Toronto. Oh, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle, hey, from Canada. <laughs> um, so y'all got to get out of that. You hate the man that did you dirty, not men in general. Okay? Like, the man that did you wrong may not really even be guilty. You might have just been pick me to him. But he was, you know, he was teaching you a lesson. Thank you, Jasmine. What you put out is what you get, including it. That's right, Jasmine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, you know, a man might have mistreated you, but maybe it's because you didn't love yourself and that was your lesson to level up. Because think about it. If, if you were someone else who was leveled up at the time, who was very self-confident and were the prize, would he have been able to even treat you that way? Probably not. Mm -hmm. So just think about it. He probably, he probably wouldn't have done you dirty if you had done yourself right to, to start. So men, y'all, when y'all say, men, I hate men and men are dogs and that, no, baby. They treat you how you treat yourself. That's it. However you treat yourself is how they're going to treat you. So for those ladies who are on these dating websites, if you put yourself up on the market like a piece of meat, that's how they're going to treat you. Okay. If you give them your all and do everything for them, that's they're going to treat you like the, the maid you, that you claim to be. Okay. So it's just a reflection of how you treat yourself they can't treat you how you do not allow them to treat you like honestly like this is the whole video is about let's say a man comes up to me and I'm all you know bougie and stuff in my beret and my extraness I'm not going to allow anybody to treat me as if they could approach me as if they had a child especially if they're dusty no they're not going to even get the opportunity He's like, hey, hey, girl, what's your name? You so look pretty. So he had turned, looks up and down. Excuse me? Oh, you bougie, you bougie. Da, da, da. Gets up and walks away. <laughs> okay. Yes, you cannot be treated like you do not allow people to treat you. Yeah. Oh, well, um, you know, it, it's hard to make it in this society on one income. You got to put in work. You got to bring something to the table. That's my cue. 
we gotta go. It was very disappointing meeting you. And then walk out. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, going to be here. Thank God for she. Thank you, LaBliss. I rank high in spirituality, low in food tips. Be smarter, baby. Study, study all my videos. Listen and take notes. Sprinkle, sprinkle, LaBliss. Take notes. Take notes and keep them in your purse pocket, whatever. Remember that because you'll be forgetting. <laughs> you don't care. You don't care what they think. So, so let, let's say you go out on a date and you're trying to talk dirty and, you know, it's making you uncomfortable. Okay. It might be nighttime, so you can't use the glasses to do it. But, wow. That's very mature of you. I must say, I haven't heard that saying since junior high school. Interesting. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it takes a lot more than some dirty talk to get me excited. Like, you don't know my ring size. You don't know the di the type of diamond I prefer. You don't know my shoe size. You don't know my favorite store. You don't know the perfume that I like. Like, you know nothing about me. <laughs> so if, I suggest if you want to get to know me, uh, you need to spend a little bit more time trying to figure out those things. Thank you, to Tawana. To my sugar daddy won't fully provide for me because I'm married. How can I get him to provide? Tell him you're divorced. Tell him you're getting divorced just like they do you. They just tell him, oh, I'm getting divorced. Put you out some fake lawyer papers, some divorce stuff online like they do and just, I'm getting divorced. Same thing they do. Do the same thing they do. Learn from them. Okay. I need money for the attorney. <laughs> okay, that's how you do. Thank you, Son Sonine. Be Lux. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You look how to redirect a coffee date to a real date. Oh, I look cute. Thank you. How to redirect a coffee date into a real one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I stopped doing coffee dates at 25 or at 20. You know, I'm only I'm only um, interested in men that are able to, you know, who can actually afford to date. I'm sorry. There you go. I stopped doing I stopped doing co coffee dates in college. I stopped doing coffee dates in the nineties. If you old like me, <laughs> that's like so <laughs> young. I stopped doing coffee dates when Friends stopped. You know when Friends had its season uh, finale, <laughs> the nineties. Um, sometimes if you don't care about that guy like if they could take them or leave them you need to be a little bit sarcastic and like because sometimes they like that they they waiting on you to recognize that you're the prize so they can get on board without seeming desperate you know what I mean some men want to treat you really good but it's like they don't have permission to until you give it to them you know what I mean? Like, they don't want to be all over you like a, a, a puppy. So they're going to be like, okay, well, let's go to coffee. Until you redirect it and tell them, no, 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 I don't do coffee. But you can take me to dinner. Sometimes they wanted to ask you to dinner, but didn't want to seem like they were going, that they were like desperate. So you got to redirect them sometimes. You got to be like, no, but you can take me to dinner. I don't do coffee. I stopped doing coffee in my 20s or in college. But if you if you really want to go out with me, um, I would love, you know, to get to know you over a glass of wine. And, you know. <sighs> okay, well, what's your favorite restaurant? There you go. 
You can't just accept you can't accept the scraps that they throw you. Look. Redirect and let them come again. Thank you, Shanae. My older boyfriend has been promising to take me on a run vacation for years. He keeps putting it off and he's too busy because of work. Go by yourself, baby. Get get his money, book your ticket. Go with your friends, take a family member, go. Go without him. Send him pictures. Okay? That's what you gotta do because he you ain't never gonna go waiting on him. <laughs> You'll never go anywhere if you wait on, on on him. I like casinos for first dates. No play, no play. It works. What? I don't know. I don't live by any casinos, so I don't know how that goes. Um, what's a pretzel date? I don't know. Something something they do in junior high school or something. I don't know. <laughs> How to get a Dusty to spend more? Tell him to ask his mama for more allowance. I don't know. Um, <laughs> hope his mama get a raise. Sell his video games. I don't know. <laughs> How did the Dusty to spend more is what she asked. What do you think about non-romantic co-parenting? How much child support you get? That's what I that's what my question is. You getting child support? How much money are you getting out this deal? <laughs> I'm always gonna ask you about the money. I went to the strip club with Sugar Daddy. Good for you. <laughs> Where to meet older men in Vegas? Girl, ask somebody to live in Vegas. <laughs> Lubies. That's what Lubies. Denny's Lubies. <laughs> Golf course. Um. <clears throat> Be careful taking him to strip clubs. Some of those women are savage and how to hook. <laughs> how about the ones who show off their bags? How do you get it? They're showing them off because they don't have real bags. Men don't have to show off their bags. You know what I'm saying? It's like... They're showing them off. They're not going to give you anything out of it. You know what I mean? People with money don't want people to know that they have money. They're not going to do all of that. How do you get in character and start acting? I put on a hat and some different outfits. And I look up like I'm better than them. And I get to acting. <laughs> Um, right? The wardrobe helps. Wigs, makeup, and wardrobe help you get into character now. Mm hmm Shira, did you cut your hair? Yes, I cut it again. Oh my gosh, I grew it out just to cut it again. So stupid, right? Just kidding, it's a wig. It's a wig! I make good money and travel as a nanny. Men love that. I care for a baby but don't have kids. Plus, they think I'm broke, so it helps. That's a good one, Plain Jane, a traveling nanny. Go ahead. That's a good one. Um, this guy wanted me to take time out of my schedule to take me out and I asked him what he did did he have in mind he told me he wanted to just chill because he was trying to save his money girl that whole why did you make me waste my time reading that 
Why did you even waste your time responding to him? I hope he's blocked. <laughs> right? That's sad. Men, if y'all on here, do not ask women out to chill dates, to park dates, to hiking dates. Just go by yourself. Ugh. How do you balance dating multiple guys while they all court and buy you things? One have one day a week for each each dude, and then <laughs> or do do lunch with this dude, do dinner with the next. I don't know. You can figure it out. That's the easy one. This one gets Monday. This one gets Tuesday. This one gets Thursday. You need to take a couple days off in between to spend their money or do what you got to do. <laughs> Thank you, Sass B. Speak more on projecting that you're the prize. Act like, walk like, talk like, dress like prize. You will be mistaken as prize. You will be prize. Um, always leaving the house looking top notch or the best that you can look, you know, according to where you're going. Like, don't overdo it, but... Always care about yourself, your looks, how you present yourself, how you carry yourself, and they will know you're the prize. Okay, um, the prize is basically a good catch. If you get away, they will feel stupid. That's what you need to be like. You don't need to be like a, a woman who's expendable or that they can find another one in two seconds. You need to be the prize in order to be the prize. Okay. Thank you, DT. I discovered you a month ago and have upgraded my look. I'm treated better by men and women. Different men approach me now. Wish I had you in my 20s. Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. Good for you. Yes, it works. You gotta, you gotta live a little on it. You know. What are prize qualities? Prize qualities are treating yourself like you are the prize, not taking trash, not taking anything less than what you know you deserve. Show only going to nice places, you know, on dates, only dressing nice clothes, only asking, um, you know, only allowing men of means to ask you out and you accept. You don't take trash. OK, imagine it's the same thing as being like, let's just say your dad was famous. You can't just date anybody. You can't just walk anywhere, look in any type of way. You have to represent represent that's what the prize is the prize is a good catch if you were to walk around as if your parents were super rich or famous that's the prize okay people see you right away and know you're the prize okay men pay women to be in brown whoops dark beta Darth Vader over here trying to get some s and going. <laughs> so, yeah. The prize does not go on coffee dates. The prize does not go on hiking dates or chill dates or park dates. The prize only accepts what they want and what they feel they deserve. You don't take less. And they carry themselves as if they are important. And if you don't please them, if you're not trying to impress them and court them the proper way, you are wasting their time. That's the prize. That's how they act. They're not desperate for attention. They're not desperate for approval. They will move on to the next one in a second. Like They don't care about your feelings. It's all about them. And when they figure that out, then good. Thank you, baby doll. This guy only paid for like two bills, but now I really need help more and he told me you hit me up only when you need money you got to give more than just sex i'm not no girl he too young and he probably um sound like a dusty to me thank you sprinkle sprinkle girl i'm older and richer baby older and richer um older and richer he sound broke and young or just aim richer and uglier we don't, he ain't got to be old. Just go for uglier and richer. And you shouldn't even slept with him. That was your problem. You already slept with him. He ain't got to give you no more. Exactly. Like, you got to give me more than sex. 
go. He would have gave it to you if you hadn't given him anything. I promise you, because he would have been still trying to get it. Okay. Mm. So, she wrote, should I marry a guy that's super wealthy for that's not super wealthy for citizenship in Europe? Do whatever you need to do to get to where you need to get in this world. That's what I say. Whatever's going to make you happy, go do it, baby. Like, you can always divorce them. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you wear makeup to the gym? Yep. Thank you for helping me level up. How can we send you gifts? Oh. Thank you, girls. Uh, I have an Amazon wish list. <laughs> Y'all can send me something through there. Let me see what is on my wish list. I can't remember. Probably some good stuff, though. <laughs> Let me see. Where my list at? <laughs> wish list. Oh, I got some. Oh, I'm going to take some of this stuff off. I already got it. Delete. Dang, I don't have nothing on my wish list no more. I got to add some more stuff. Um, Hold on. I might have two. I got two lists. There we go. All right. I'm going to link it. Send list to others. How do I send this list? View and edit. Copy the link. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. There we go. There's my wish list. Y'all can send me something off of there. Um. <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle. Look up. Do you advocate dating married, affluent, or single affluent men? I can't entertain married men. I advocate getting your money and starting your own business and doing whatever you're going to do at the end of the day. Because married men going to cheat regardless of whether you advocate it or not. Single men going to cheat on their girlfriends whether you advocate it or not. And um, it doesn't matter what you advocate. Are you going to benefit from the situation? If you don't believe in that, then don't even bother with it. And the question was silly in the first place if you don't believe in it. And you just said, I don't advocate married men. It was a waste of time and energy to ask that question. So what you're asking me is, do I approve dating married men? Yes, I do, because I married a man who was married. I, yep. I advocate it because you know what? People get divorced on a daily basis. How you doing? <laughs> um, I advocate anything that's going to get you to your goal, baby. <laughs> Look, I'm about results. What should I say to a sugar daddy who ignored because he wouldn't give me money, but now he wants to? Tell him to meet you at the mall. You can meet me at the Mall. Mm-hmm. Meet me at the mall. Time to make up. Meet me at the bank. Time to make up. Meet me at the ATM, baby. Um. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We're meeting the, at the mall. But what should I say? I missed you. I had a dream about you. You look so good. You've been working out. You smell good. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Priceless, the boxing goddess. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Can I still get money from him if we had sex before? It's going to be hard, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's going to be hard unless it's been a long time and he wanted it again. He got to start over with the funds. So the longer you hold out, the more you're going to get, baby. Don't be giving it up. I don't know why y'all keep doing that. Don't do that. 
Mm -hmm. What advice do you have to not raise boys to be dusty men? Make them work for everything that they get and make them cater to uh, make them understand um, the dynamics between women and men. Make them be gentlemen, you know, opening doors for women and blah, 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 and make them work for everything that they don't give them everything. Don't give them everything. Only on holidays, but they got to work for everything. If they want a new pair of shoes, they got to work for that. Like you, they got to do stuff around the house, a lot of stuff. Don't make them, e don't make it easy work because the more they work for something, when they get out there in the real world, they'll be either more, uh, excited to you know start their own business or to work hard for what they want and it's not going to be an issue like it is for these little dusty rats running around talking about um it's hard out here and the man and the system because they've been too coddled you got to make them work for stuff okay um make them work hmm <laughs> Don't raise your sons to be the, and if you have daughters and sons, you need to treat them very different. You cannot treat them the same. Thank you, me and Nicole. I just donated, but I'll do it again. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm hmm Why do men like to drain your energy? I told my sugar daddy goodnight three times. Ugh, good night. Stop texting me. Girl, set up automatic texting me. <laughs> uh, how did I get my confidence? I'm the prize. I'm a woman. That's the confidence right there. Men don't go out looking for anything else. What would they go out looking for? The prize. You. Be the prize. Mm -hmm. Why don't men like it when women are ambitious and are educated? Because they're the competition now. Why don't women like it when men are good at fashion and doing hair and uh, can dress better than you? Because it's feminine. And because it's masculine for women to be that way. Okay, it's it's a turn off because it's too much masculine energy. It just is like. <laughs> How do I feel about Cash App? I like Cash App. <laughs> Here's my thing. When a when a man sees an ambitious woman who's smart and has everything she needs, what he knows for sure is that she don't need him. <laughs> Think about that for two seconds. When a man sees a very smart, well-educated, successful woman, the first thing he thinks, she don't need me. Thank you, LaBliss. I have the number to the first black man to open a hotel in Massachusetts. He thinks He's up in the stratosphere. He's in his 60s. Any advice? I haven't called yet. Don't call. He, you should have got, he should have got your number. I wouldn't call. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if I did call, you know, if I did call, if, I, if I'm going to call, it's going to be like straight up business. Hey, how you doing? And thank you, thank you. Uh, it was really nice meeting you the other day. You're so, uh, you're so nice. Um, so I was calling because you gave me your card, and I didn't know why you gave me your card. So um, I'm calling to say hello. How are you? Da, 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 da. Here's my number. If you know, click call to give him your number. If you just cannot let him pass you by call and give him your number and then end the call 
That way you put the ball in his court if he wants to talk to you. Now you ain't going to be sitting around big. Priceless or text him your phone number. Hi, this is such and such. We met the other night. Here's my number. That's it. This is thanks my sugar daddy on the side flying and to take me shopping. Good for you, Priceless. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, but no, like, if you call him, text him your number and then let him do what comes natural. You know what, y'all? And, and I'm not misleading women. Look, let me tell y'all something. I have so many accomplishments. I have I have two degrees. I I have done so much. I am so smart. I, my, my IQ is very high. I don't brag about it. <laughs> Instead, I'm sitting here teaching y'all how to get money doing the least. But putting the most into yourself. Okay. Now, I could go and promote, oh, women... Be strong, be leaders, be single, <laughs> get feminine men, take care of them, be their mothers, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do all of that. I need to rest. I need to enjoy my life too. I need my freedom. <laughs> okay? I'm not here to take care of anybody except for my own children. That's it. I'm not here to be the inspiration and the backbone of some other human being. No, I'm here to do what makes me happy and to raise my kids. Anything else you doing is extra added and silly. Okay. I never tell people what I do. I never tell people I got books. I got cosmetic line. I got degrees I, that I got businesses that I got. I never tell people that I'm a housewife, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Why? First of all, I don't have nothing to prove to anybody. I already look good. So all that extra stuff ain't going to do nothing because I already look good. <laughs> if the only people that have to brag is the ugly folk, the ones that didn't get approval, for, or the ones still looking for approval outside of self, look, I'm a housewife, baby. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I stay home all day and play in my makeup and my clothes. How you doing? You know, I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't have anything to prove. <laughs> so if you want to brag to someone, go brag to your mama or brag to your family. They care. Nobody else care. For real. They don't care. I know I don't care. Um it's true. Think about it. Who cares about all the stuff that you've accomplished? Your mama, your daddy, your granny. Even your cousins and your sisters don't care. Okay? <laughs> Only people that care about what you have accomplished is the people that had you and want to brag on you to their friends at the at the church or at the, the company picnic or whatever. That's the only people that care about your accomplishment is your parents. Everybody else is like, and do you look good in some heels? Can you can you can you do your eyebrow? Can you make heads turn when you walk in the room? <laughs> okay. So you know how people like have to have a title. I don't even have a title. Oh, I'm a dating coach. Oh, I'm a life coach. Oh, I'm an author. Oh, I'm a this. Oh, I'm a that. Mm -mm. I'm a YouTuber and a housewife. That's what I am. <laughs> I don't need no title. <laughs> Why? Because nobody cares. Um, right? Nobody cares. They just care if I'm on this thing, telling them how to get to the back. That's what they care about. So, an another way to um, deter a dusty is that I don't work. <clears throat> I don't work. 
Oh, you must be rich, stupid. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm just taken care of. Oh, you got a sugar daddy. Oh, yeah, you got a sugar daddy. A sugar daddy? Um, well, if you ever need something young and tender, I know you can. I am the young and tender one. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. I asked because married men are stingy with their money and to fund the wife. I don't share bad. Wonder if it's better to go for single. You need to go for a man with more money. Like, you need to go for a wealthy man if he's married. That means, or you need to go with a man who is with a Bob the Builder chick. Or you need to go for a wealthy man who has an independent woman as a wife because she's spending her own money while he's saving his and spending it on whatever he wants. You need to find a Bob the Builder man, a wife situation. Not, if you find a husband that fully provides for his wife and his wife don't work, you, you hit the wrong one. You need to find a Bob the Builder wife and they have money to spend because their wife is paying half of everything. Okay? <laughs> Um, one day we will be good ladies trust me <laughs> yeah it's so confusing if you show you have everything she will think you don't need him but if you have to show him you are the prime it's not showing them you have everything and showing them that you are confident and can get into man to give you everything. That's the point. Being confident and being the prize means if you ain't going to give it to me, somebody else will. Okay? You might as well do it because somebody else going to be giving it to me. That is the how you act like the prize. If you don't give it to me, somebody else will. You're the only one with money. You know? That's how you act. It's not confusing. If you don't do it, somebody else will. You better, you better get in while you fit in. Okay. If I'm not dating you, I'm gonna be dating someone just like you with the same type of money. It might as well be you. What you gonna do? That's what it's gonna be. Um. So that's that's that is the prize. You are overthinking things. Y'all are overthinking things. Y'all are overthinking things. <laughs> what do you say when a guy comes back days after not talking to you hi how are you first of all you said guy not husband not boyfriend okay if they're not husband or boyfriend they don't have to tell you a thing they can disappear for a year and not say a thing to you women have too many high expectations of people that have no commitment to them and that's where y'all mess up. I don't care. If you just meet some random guy, y'all went out on a date, A, B, C, and D, he don't have to report back to you. That's not your man. You know? <laughs> if you slept with him, you done. Of course he ain't going to call back. <laughs> he done got the prize. Hopefully you didn't do that. But there's nothing that you're supposed to be doing. That's not your man. Okay? I think it's healthy to just get the advice you need for your situation. We don't have to agree. Yeah, you ain't got to agree with everything I say. If y'all agree with everything I, I'd say, if y'all agree with everything I say, you would be me. So you can't be me. Can you do a young ladies edition? Please give advice for 18 to 25 year olds. This is the advice, darling. <laughs> this is the advice. Go, go for the money. You in your prime. You can get the most right now. Only date men with money at that age, uh, at those ages. 18, I would say 18 to 21, you know, date whoever you want. Get that out of your system. Then when you start getting into them 20s, get serious about this money. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shira. You have been watching your videos for the past two weeks, and I've been evaluating my situation, and you are spot on. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Yeah, I know... Y'all aren't going to agree with everything I say. People that are close to me don't agree with everything I say because they're not me. You, 
No one is going to have the exact same point of view or perspective. So take what you can get. If it work, it work. Thank you, Nasty Badger. <laughs> she wrote, do I say I'm not religious on a date if asked? Just say I'm more spiritual. I'm more spiritual. <laughs> I'm more spiritual than religious. Because if you say that, they think a that they can convert you if you if they are religious, or b you're not going to try to convert them if they ain't religious. So it's kind of like a medium, a happy medium. Um. Can I scoot over a bit to my left? What you want, my perfume? Is that my left? Or just my left? To the left, to the left. Is this better? Mm hmm Thank you, Carla K. I live in a small town with no high-end places, but men of means do live here. Should I travel one hour to freestyle in DC or do it here? Girl, if you can't get something there, I mean, it should be easier to do in a small town. Go hang outside the hospital. Go hang outside the dentist's office. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Like, go hang around where people with money are. That's what I would do. Every small town has somebody with money. Thank you. Shira. Has said how to attract men at the gym or anywhere level up and dress your best. Dress your best. Look, if you go in there and you you stand out because you look good, people are going to notice you automatically. You're going to get their attention. It's going to be easier for you to approach or be approached in any situation. It's going to be easier for you to ask a dumb question because you know that man just pulled up in that uh. That nice car out there, a G wagon. You've seen a pull up, so you're gonna be stupid and ask a question when you see them in the gym. Or you're gonna drop your keys or something in front of them. Okay, that's how you do this. Wear pink or light colors or girly colors to the gym. Talking to baby boys. Make sure these things is pumped up. Get you on them Victoria's Secret sports bras, so you ain't smushed down, but you pumped up. Okay, and smell good, don't stink like must. Get some deodorant and some love. Uh, this way you can use your spread, you know. Your Victoria's Secret spray, your bath and body work spray, okay? At the gym. Um mm -hmm. get a gym with windows so you can see who drives up. When me and Michaela used to go to the gym, be looking out the window. Seeing what car people drive up in, what they got on. When they get in the gym, that's your target. Okay. Now we were out, we weren't targeting, but we could easily see out of the window. She might have been. She might have been. Um, so yeah. Mm Do you have a video on how to hold flirtatious conversations with older men? Girl, they just happy to be talking to somebody that ain't born in the baby boomer era. You good. <laughs> um, I do have a lot of videos that talk about how to hold a conversation. They're supposed to really hold the conversation. The person that holds the conversation is usually the man. So he's entertaining you. Shira, I missed this information in my 20s. I'm 32 and I'm ready for something serious. And a man with money, is it still possible? Of course it's still possible. As long as you look good. Mm-hmm. You're going to purposely sit next to the most attractive man with money in the room. Bad move. You need to sit next to the ugliest man with the most money in the room. Let me tell you how, how this works. The most attractive man with the most money in the room expects you to sit by him, baby. He's the prize. You're not, baby. You're not the prize. 
The ugliest man with the most money sees you as the prize. The attractive man sees you as an option that he has plenty of. You are not special to him. He sees it every day on a daily basis. In fact, you're probably annoying to him. Okay, go for the ugly one. If you can't do ugly, then good luck to you. Have fun being one of many options. Um, you don't have the stomach for it. She, I don't have the stomach for brokenness either. You know, I ain't got the stomach for brokenness. Working, clocking in, clocking out, going on lunch break, asking to pee. I ain't got the stomach for that neither. But hey, guess what? <laughs> I don't have to do any of that. You know, but you got the stomach for work. She would have done see it at the hospital. I'm too the girl go to the hospital, girl. <laughs> like honestly, if you're a young woman, get all of that out of your system. And I say this on every video. Go date attractive men until you tired of being the ugly one. Go date attractive men until you realize they are actually the prize and you ain't nothing. Go date them. Go date them so much that every time you out, you worry that some other girl is going to try to snatch them. You worry that they looking at somebody else. You worry you ain't cute enough. Go ahead. Go have fun with that. But I have to be the cute one in the relationship. Hands down. Always. Period. I have to be the one where you have to ask, why is she with him? What does he do? He must have one. That's the kind of relationship I need. I don't need somebody asking me, um, what's your man's name? Where does he work? Trying to get the information so they can sneak up and creep up. Okay, well, go ahead and have fun. You'll learn. You'll be back. <laughs> It'll be fun. You know, the lessons learned will be fun. Not pretty, but fun. It'd be a roller coaster. Sure. <laughs> How do you grow your hair out? Under, I actually it grew under wigs. I, I wore a lot of wigs and it just grew up under there. I didn't really do a lot to my hair. I didn't put a lot of heat on it, didn't mess with it a lot, and it just kind of grew. They are ugly ones that think they're the prize too. That's true, but not not a lot. They know they think they're the prize because they have money. But they also want someone to make them look good too. But the more attractive ones, waste of time. Mm -hmm. My hair is wonky. This is a wig. <laughs> that I I'm actually getting paid to wear. That's true. That's funny. Yeah, I like this wig. Mm hmm I'm about to have children with an ugly man. You don't you don't know about having children with an ugly man. Girl, your children gonna be your children gonna be cute, but you ain't gonna be around to see them because you're gonna be at work. Okay. <laughs> Your children are gonna be pretty, beautiful, but you ain't never gonna see them, baby. You're gonna be at the work job. Working to support your cute man. Cause he sure ain't gonna keep a job after he secures your bag. Cause he's the prize. Y'all think like breeders. That's pretty sad. Y'all know why the rich are so ugly? They kids be growing up with all these ugly features, but they be getting plastic surgery. <laughs> okay. But look at all the heiresses and the Hollywood children. Most of them had to get plastic surgery. Okay. Go look at all. They all had plastic surgery. All of them. Every single one of them. You know why? Because their mama was smart. And they can afford plastic surgery. 
Uh, it's true. It's true. I'd rather have a pretty bank account and a pretty house and a pretty car. Okay. I, I'm not going to think like a breeder. I don't care. You know, I'm not going to think like a breeder. I'm going to think like somebody that's growing some wealth. I'm not going to have poverty mind when it comes to uh, who who I uh you know sign contracts with. <laughs> that's how y'all gotta think now. That's that's you know that's the first thing people think. Breeding. <laughs> Took the Kardashians. You're right. They all had surgery. Oh no. Even Bruce. And he ain't even the Kardashian. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Caitlin. Well, he had plastic surgery before he was Caitlin as well. Sure, what foundation do you like? Oh, Y'all need to go get on my beauty channel. I discuss all of that good stuff. I like NARS, Too Faced, Born This Way, Fenty. I'm on Fenty right now. Okay. Paris Hilton, all right. So, my wig is wonky. Okay, Fifi. I like my wig. Well, hold on. This is my Michael Jackson wig now. They done sent me, they done messed around and sent me a Michael Jackson wig. I'm gonna be Michael Jackson next year for Halloween with this wig. For real. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Looks good with the hat and without me. Yeah, I like the side part better. I haven't plucked it yet because I just unboxed it. And I'm actually trying to do a review on it. And I'm just trying to wear it to see if I want to do something else with it. Yeah, this is my wig, darling. You bought groceries for a Dusty? When you was lost, now you found. Oh, that's so sweet. You was doing charity work, girl. That's, just call it charity work. Okay, don't ever say you bought groceries for a dusty. Just say you bought groceries for the poor. <laughs> you did some charity. Uh huh. Charity work. <laughs> yes, this is a good wig, y'all. I have to pluck it though. How do you get over your ex that pays my rent but ghosts on me? Girl, get you another one. Let him pay your rent. And when he ghosts you, have your call the other one up, man. What the heck? That's a blessing in disguise. Don't see the positive in everything. First of all, you should not care about him because he don't care about you. Second of all, get that rent money, save your money, start your own business, and go date. What are you doing? That's stupid. He said, first of all, he's your ex. He don't want you. Pays your rent, added bonus. Be thankful. Gives you free time to do whatever you want. It's a win-win. You could be having two people paying your rent while you stash the other rent money. What you doing? Okay, be smart. Mm -hmm. Please wear the sunglasses and that bougie. Oh, you want the hat too?
I feel like Joanne the scammer. <laughs> um, I feel like Joanne the scammer in this outfit. Don't give nobody money if you're going to ask for it back. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, now don't think I'm rude. I'm just trying to help people. Now listen to this very carefully, you guys. Never ever ask to borrow money from a man. If he cannot just give it to you, um, don't ask to borrow money from a man. Don't give money to a man to borrow, even if he promises he's going to pay you back. That is silly. Don't ever do that. Say nope, and that is the end of the conversation. Can't do it. Well, why not? Because I have to give it to my mother. Lie. Okay? And that's the end of that discussion. He. <laughs> Is your husband white? Depends on what spectrum that you look at him in. To be technical. And what dimension that you are looking at him from. It also depends on Why, 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 why? Why, why? Do, 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 do. Now, technically, if I was married to Michael Jackson, the answer would be yes and no. It don't matter if he black or white. Y'all, I'm getting back Michael Jackson vibes in his wig. I'm going to take it off. Valencia. What's Valencia out there talking about? Hold on. Let me scroll back up. She, for Halloween, I dressed up as Krusty the Clown and shared a ratchet photo. I also post dominatrix modeling photos. Is, this, is it too late to fix a track? Attract him again. Girl, why would you do that? That's like showing him a picture of your armpit hair. The heck? No. It's, it's over. First impression is last impression. <laughs> do you want to see my armpit hairs that I haven't shaved in three weeks? He is not your buddy. He is he's your target. Okay. <laughs> he they are not your buddies. They are your targets. Remember that. <laughs> hmm, why are people so quick? To post everything, it's so childish. I don't know. They're, they're seeking approval. They want to make people laugh. It's very masculine. Thank you, Amber. A thousand in savings, what would you do to level up? Keep saving? I can't do that with a thousand dollars, baby. Keep saving up. I will keep saving. That's what I will keep doing. I will get another, I will get a sugar daddy and pile that on top of another thousand, on top of another thousand, on top of another thousand. 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 Why? Because a thousand dollars is not money. It's good that you are starting to save, but I will keep saving. Thank you, Shira. You, I watch you more than Hulu. <laughs> Thank you, Velo Sprinkle Sprinkle. Um, yeah.
Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm trying to become a phone tipper and eventually get a sugar daddy. Good for you, girl. Keep, keep, keep to your own. You gonna, you gonna do it. Just get on one of them websites. Um, if you must spend some of that money, I, I only take a budget out of a hundred dollars. Okay, and keep nine hundred and. Only spend it on something that is going to get you more money. Whatever you spend it on, you need to be able to flip it and make some money off of it. Okay? If you are cute enough to go out and get a sugar daddy and you need a new outfit, shop online at the little cheap stores, look cute, for you, get you a little $100 outfit and make it do what it do. But other than that, you need to keep saving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most people don't have $400 saved. You're in the wrong group and around the wrong people, girl. You know what? When I was younger, I used to be one of those people when I was younger. Didn't have none in my bank. I might have had $100 and just calling it savings. <laughs> but I'm junk. You know, if you over 27, I'm going to say 27 because a lot of people play around at 20. If you're over 27 and you don't have thousands in your savings or bank account or you don't have any investments, you need to get on that. Okay? You need to get on it. Because, okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you all something. This is serious. As a grown, full grown adult, you are still helpless if you don't have money. As a full grown adult, you are a helpless child when emergencies pop up. Okay? So get that savings together. Get that, get that, get that uh, investment going and get, you know, get something going. Get a business going, get a side hustle or something. Because you might think you're the man or the woman, and you got a job and you got a career, you got five degrees, but you can't save no money. So you're still a helpless child when an emergency pops up. You know, so save your money. Stop trying to spend it. If, you know, if you have money to spend, spend. But if you don't, don't spend that. Just save it, save it, save it. Until you can afford to spend. Okay. Y'all, I'll tell y'all my side hustles in junior high school, I was selling gum. My mom would give me lunch money, $2 of lunch money, right? I, I go to the grocery store, buy one of them packs of extra gum that have like 10 of them in there, sell each pack for a dollar, turn $2 into $10. And one day, every day I came home with $10. Left with two, came back with 10. At the end of the week, how much I had? $150, baby. In junior high school, okay? Flip your money. Learn how to get paid. Stop spending it. If you're going to spend it, spend it on something that's going to get money. <laughs> Shoot. I went to school one time with gum. Everybody asked me for gum. Y'all finna buy this gun. I'll be back tomorrow with some more. So, um, <laughs> side hustle. Um, yeah, it was $50, y'all. <laughs> I was getting ahead of myself. I was doing other stuff too. Yeah, I was selling other stuff too, like, <laughs> makeup. I would I would sell makeup. I would come home with money. My mom was like, where you get that money at? I earned it. <laughs> you know how junior high some people some parents won't let their uh kids buy makeup and stuff like that? You come to school with your lunch money, I got you, I got you. You want some lipstick? Two dollars. <laughs> um 
figure out how to sell makeup and gum in junior high school. <laughs> you have thousands and still feel broke. <sighs> who who said that? Was that Tyler Perry or somebody? He said, "Work like you broke to get rich. Hustle like you're broke to get rich." I to get wealthy, whatever. Y'all, so, you know, all the trolls be saying, she on here all the time. She must not have no money. She always on YouTube. She always uh, promote her stuff. Da, 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 da. A wise man once said, work as if you're broke if you want to be rich. Okay, y'all sitting over there. The trolls sitting over there uh, mad because they can't figure out one hustle. I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know. And you know, I'm just a housewife. Though. With a hustler spirit. Mm -hmm. A hustler spirit. Last till to get new car. Ooh. Girl. Okay, here. Last till to get new car. I need new car. I can't come see you. My car broke down. I need new car. You don't really even got to lie. You just got to tell him you ain't gonna see him. Can't come see you. My car gonna break down. <laughs> Just don't tell your sugar daddy your husband, right? Your mind is on getting a bag, but I have strong urges to want cuddles and physical touch. Is there a psychological reason why? I have yeah, that's your maternal instinct. That's your maternal instinct as a as a female. Get you a, a kitty, a dog, a puppy, go babysit. That's your maternal instinct. That's your mating. And that's your primal instinct. The difference between women who give in to that and the women who don't are the ones who are in control of themselves. Do you control yourself? Or do you control those emotions or do those emotions control you? That's, that's, the, that's the question you should be asking. Because I know they control men, which is why it's very easy to get what you want out of them. It doesn't control us. That's why we can get what we want. So when you start feeling like that, understand that's why it's easy for us to get what we want out of men because they are slaves to that. We are not. So you need to learn how to control that. Right? Mm -hmm. Get your look. Get your... Get you a pit. Go adopt my animal. Mm -hmm. Someone says get a body pillow. Okay. Like I, you know, like for me, I got kids, so I can cuddle my kids. I got a cat, I can cuddle my cat, I got a dog. I, you know, I got myself, I got family members, you know, um, if you're talking about like needing affection from a man, you know, do you really need that or do you need it to feel validated? You know what I mean? Do you need it to feel validated or do you just need it in general from antibody, you know? Before I messed my whole life up over five minutes of funny weekends. Oh gosh, the five minutes was life changing. Right. Mm -hmm. 
believe get separate hotel rooms, baby. Suggest separate hotel rooms. If he don't go for it, you don't go for it. Oh, I can't go unless we're gonna have a separate hotel room. Anyway, you know, he's not unless he's taking you shopping on the shopping spree and you know, you win, it's, there's no need to go unless you have separate rooms. I literally already told her that. <laughs> okay. You about to go to college trying to figure out what you want to major in? Let's see, if I had it to do all over again, what would I do? Well, Layla wants to be an interior designer. Um... That will put you in big circles of money. You do interior design for the wealthy. Um, I would do something I can get in and get out and look cute doing. That's what I would be doing. <laughs> get in and get out and look cute. Meet a, meet somebody with some money so you don't have to work. <laughs> That's what I would do. Mm-hmm. Follow your heart. I'd be an event planner. Think, think about jobs where you get to meet wealthy people. Event planner. Closet organizer. Someone said closet organizer. Fundraisers. Fashion events. It depends on where you live for that. Like, it depends on where you live. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Medical school girl. You gonna be a medical school girl for nine years? Go to school to learn event planning, fundraising, and interior design or something like that. You can be married in two years to somebody rich and ain't got the work no more. <laughs> Be in sales and use your femininity. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical sales. Mm -hmm. Going to medical school. If you want to be a doctor, go be a doctor, girl. I ain't going to tell you not to be no doctor now. But if you're trying to meet a man that's going to take full care of you, and you're trying to get in and get out while you still look young, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm not. No, like, Mm -hmm. What if you're allergic to breast implants and have a small chest? Get you um, one of them Victoria's Secret bras that have that gel in it and have a, have a good day. Get you some chicken cutlets. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Someone says push-up bras. What about fashion design? I mean, for me, that's more, I mean, I don't know. I can't say on fashion design. I'm talking, I'm trying to get in quick. I'm, I'm not trying to build up a name. I'm, I'm trying to get in quick, you know, real estate, you know, get in, get out. Get in, get out. I mean, think about, you, you even work in fashion design. Where are you going to meet men with money if you are working fashion? Or if you are took fashion design, where would these places take you? You know, where where are you going to be? Mm -hmm. A buyer, okay. You're going to be around a bunch of gay men, baby. Right. I finished college in three years because once there, I wanted to hurry up and finish. Good for you. Um, receptionist. 
Can you meet rich men while being an interior designer? Yes. Okay. Rich man buys penthouse apartment. Who's going to take away it? Uh, when athletes move to different cities and they buy new houses, they hire an interior designer. When you buy a big house or a mansion, they have they give you all these cards of people suggesting, oh, here's an interior designer if you need one. Here's this, here's that. Oh, uh, if you buy this mansion, you get a complimentary, you know, uh, consultation with a, a interior designer. Come on now. Y'all gotta use your brain. Y'all have to, like, yes. Work in an area where there's lots of money. Hand your cards out and offer free complimentary consultations upon um, purchase of home. Offer your services to real estate companies. Oh, when they buy a house, uh, here's my card. Um, they, you can use this as an incentive to give a complimentary whatever, whatever. Basically, you go out on a date with a rich man for, and you, get, you might get paid if he uses your services. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it unrealistic to wait on a provider man instead of pursuing your career to secure your future feeling? Um, if you ugly, yes. Go ahead and get your money, girl. Do you. Don't waste your pretty trying to get your money and then when you're trying to get a man, all your pretty is gone. Okay. So, Honestly, if you ugly, get your money. If you cute, get the man first. Then you have plenty of time to get your money. You get money ugly. You can go to school ugly all you want. But don't waste your pretty trying to get all this done and then miss your man. Right? You can go to school anytime. Old people in school. With me, I'm see if I can get my bag the easiest way. Use his money. To get my money, to keep getting money, you know. So, <laughs> be honest with yourself. Exactly, you know you ain't gonna pull nothing. Keep on going to school. But if you know you can pull something, get something. Go back to school later if you want. If you have to, and you might not even need to. You might have more money than people graduating because you just started your own business with somebody else's money. Okay. You done invested all the money that man gave you, and now you're getting checks. What? You don't have to do anything. If you work smarter and not harder, if you look good, you can pull it off. If you're leveled up, you can pull it off. If not, keep stay in school. Stay in school. Stay in school, children. Um... Is being a doctor a turn off to an, a wealthy man? Probably. <laughs> I mean, doctors think they know everything. They'll try to correct you. You know, when they introduce themselves, they say, I'm a doctor, such and such. It's very, I think it would. Uh, Someone says, unless you're a pediatrician. I mean, I can see how that might work. Mm -hmm. Good, so you do catering? Yep, I got to meet celebrities when I worked for this caterer when I was uh, very young. Mm -hmm. Catering service, event planning. See, you get invited to all the parties for the celebrities, girls, event planning, interior design. You will meet celebrities, rich people, millionaires, but I said makeup artists. Um, what else? <laughs> yep, so 
no, no nurse. <laughs> How can you get what you desire without giving up sex? Don't give it up. That's make them think they're gonna get it and never give it to them. How how do you make someone keep running and chasing by never stopping and giving it up? <laughs> well, here's my thing. Everybody has all these big dreams. Oh, I want to be this in the world. Oh, I want to be that. Okay, great. I thought I had those dreams too until I thought about, okay, well, when am I going to, if I want to have kids, if I want to get married, how is that going to work out? Then I thought, of, like, when you pick your career, you don't think about this stuff. You don't think about it because you're been pushed and pushed and pushed to just think of about a career, 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 career. What if you want to have kids? What if you want to get married? Your career is going to be put on hold. Um, if if your if your career requires you to work nights or weekends, when are you going to spend time with your kids? You know, so always think about that before you choose your career. Are you going to have time to date? Are you going to have time? You know. To do all these things. No, you won't. You're going to be in school, paying debt, working 12-hour shifts, trying to make it in your career, struggling, you know, um, don't have time for anything. And then the next thing you know, you're going to have missed all the time that you needed to do those things that you needed to do. So get that out the way first. Then go get a career. You can always go back to school. But you can't always secure a man who's going to take care of you. You know, the younger the better. <laughs> Thank you, Leah Lachey. I'll be 22 in 10 days. I'm so grateful for you. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy birthday, girl. Scorpio, hey. <laughs> you can have kids later. You sure can. But by that time, you're going to be ready to go on with 22-year-old receptionist. <laughs> he ain't going to want you. Okay? Um, I'm 20, still no kids. Well, some people don't want kids. You know, we don't want kids. That's then don't even worry about it. But if you want kids, you can always go back to school. Is becoming a lawyer okay? As long as you don't tell nobody. <laughs> Trying to secure the bag. Don't tell them you're a lawyer. <laughs> you can become a lawyer all you want. Just don't tell them. What do you do? Oh, I work at an attorney's office as a temp. I'm a receptionist. I... So you can lie about being a doctor. Well, that's kind of gonna be that's gonna be hard to do. I mean, when you're a doctor, that's kind of hard to hide. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And look, look, I, I already suggested suggested types of uh, careers that you will be around wealthy people. And you can still get wealthy through those careers. They're just not so masculine. You know, do you know how much interior designers make who work for the wealthy? They make good money. You know how much, uh, someone said be a nanny. So, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian was a closet organizer. You know, um, you know how to get into them houses. You know how to get into mansions. You know how to get on t the TV. 
to get on the TV to get seen. Y'all remember how Kim Kardashian started off? I remember when I first saw Kim Kardashian, she was on the Paris Hilton show in her closet, pre-plastic surgery, organizing her closet. Um, then the next thing you know, she had to add a billboard with some jeans, like the jean company paid her to wear their jeans. Do y'all remember that? Then after that, I remember everywhere she was dating Ray J. Then after that, she got her show. Okay. So she wasn't, you know, she wasn't going to school to be a lawyer. Even She's doing that. She's trying to do it now <laughs> that she got married and had kids. But she was in there designing rich people clothes. She was already rich, but she wasn't rich, rich. She wasn't rich, rich. <laughs> she wasn't rich like she is now. But, and she wanted to marry rich. So she was going to have to get into this, you know, stay in those circles. Mm hmm She was out for the fame bag, right? It don't matter what your goal is. I mean, as long as you got it. <laughs> so remember. And you know, career women who put career first and relationship or marriage or family second they're never happy so think about that for a second does your accomplishments matter more than you know the other stuff that you might want in life think about it because my i don't care about my accomplishments i care about my happiness and what i'm doing right now so like you can stack up all my accomplishments and i don't care my kids don't care my husband don't care so it don't, i don't care they care if I'm here, if I have time for them, if I can make them laugh today, you know, if we talk, if we spend time together. They care more about that than what I'm accomplishing in life. They don't care. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm about to go, but... Thank you all so much for tuning in. And remember, keep the haters away with your hater away spray, which is expensive perfume. Keep the haters and the dusties away with that. You need some sunglasses to block them from making eye contact. Thank you, Gigi. Just turned 20. He's 27. Makes a lot of money. We had a date Friday night. I'm beautiful. I have class. He wants to have sex. What should I do, girl? You don't need no money. No 27. Goodbye. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, you finna get got. That's why they like him young and dumb. Twenty-seven is still not don't have no money. But see, what's money to you, baby? Y'all tell her. Has he spent $5,000 on you yet? Baby. <laughs> Has he paid any of your little bills? Has he taken you shopping? He don't deserve a thing. Okay. But you're 20 though, so you're still trying to have fun. So I don't, I really would not count this as a level up type relationship. I would count this as just going out and having your fun and learning some lessons. Um, he hasn't spent anything on you yet, darling. You know, what have you gotten out of it? What is going to keep him there after you do that? Get, get him to spend money. Don't give it up. Mm -hmm. 
you know a 27 year old man worth two million dollars? Is he is he dating you? Is he dating 20 year olds? Is he spending shopping money? Is he generous? You know? If he's if he's a millionaire and he's and he's throwing that cash at you, then he can afford to wait still. He can still afford to wait. <laughs> Right. I put career first because I thought it was the only way to get money. I wish I had planned my life differently. Oh, yeah. I had to stop because um, when I realized this ain't gonna work. <laughs> like, when I was when I was a mortician, oh, wait a minute, wait, I'm around embalming fluid all day, dead bodies, germs, I'm in cemeteries, how am I going to get pregnant? My baby's going to be having three arms. Nope, can't do that. Wait, uh, I had to wake up in the middle of the night, go to the hospitals, work on the weekends, doing funerals, when am I going to see my children? That ain't gonna work. Gotta be at the funeral home at night during during the wake. How am I gonna have my kids in my home? That ain't gonna work. You know, so I didn't think about that when I went to school. I didn't think of you don't when you're 18 year old old when you're 18 years old, you don't think about kids. <laughs> so I think I'm trying to tell y'all, don't do don't make those mistakes. Think first. Mm -hmm. What about an NFL player that's 27? Um, if he's spending money and paying bills on you, great. Most of them won't because they're famous and they're the prize. Um, that's why people try to get pregnant by them instead. You know what I'm saying? If you're sleeping with them, get pregnant. Wait till you ovulating. Put some, uh, never mind. Do you ovulate? Research on how to make condoms break. <laughs> Right. Take some pictures for evidence. Put a paternity test. You're, yeah, I gotta figure this out. Get you some pictures that lets people know you was together. Wait till you ovulating. Mm -hmm. Um, but you never know with athlete, athletes though they could get cut if they're not major major you know then you'd be broke too they don't spend their money well that's why they're not a good gamble get in and get out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're still working on getting the bag. Put some catnip on your wrists. What? When you ovulate? <laughs> okay, little tip, little tip. But is that not dishonest? Will he leave when he finds out I'm waiting till marriage? Your body is your body. You can, you can tell people whatever you want about it, and it's still going to be your body. You can change your mind tomorrow. You can, you can want to give it up all day and then change your mind tomorrow that you want to wait till marriage. You can change your mind any time. <laughs> okay? 
It's not a lie if you just change your mind at the last minute. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just decided yesterday that I'm going to wait till marriage. We've waited this long. Why not get the break? Why? Why? Oh, it's my fantasy. It's my fantasy. <laughs> so, you know, your fantasy is A, B, C, and D. Well, mine is wedding night. There you go. You changed your mind at the last minute on the last day. <laughs> We've come this far. You spent five thousand, twenty thousand dollars. We've come this far. Come, come a little further. Let it ring. You already didn't spend all this money. You better come. You better come finish spending it. You better secure. You better secure me. You better take me all the way off the market. So you got a little bit more to spend. Go get that ring. <laughs> You got to drag them, dangle the carrot. You know, make me mad. I'll be on Poshmark and I see something real cute and then it say not for sale. Why are you going to post it then? <laughs> oh, it was a way to get me in to see all your stuff. I got you. <laughs> so, Hey. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna see y'all later. Um, keep the dusties away. Take your Claritins. Don't don't allow them to look into your eyes. Keep your head up, literally. When they when they call you, look the opposite way, as if the sound came from that way. Like, hey, I'm out. Be looking over there. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all later. Bye.